Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. While I'm looking at this, I need to probably put a heart right there. Alright, but anyway, y'all, I done been outside again today. I just bought another big old bag of candy um, for my man baskets. It's like every day is a struggle with me. I'm still trying to get stuff and it's like it's not like I'm not buying enough. I'm buying like 25 of this, 25 of this. And I keep running out. I guess because I got so many baskets. But anyway, in today's video, I'm going to show you some men ideas for your baskets. I'm actually about to get ready to go outside and I'll let y'all know when I do that. But I'm a little bit upset, y'all. Why I just found out it's going to rain Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I go out of town on Sunday. I don't know already. Hired my little employees, you know, my children, honey. So I was going to have my daughter on one place, my other daughter at another place. My son at a place and I was going to hit the streets. I was just going to go in and out of beauty salons, barber shops. So they was going to be sitting down at a table in three different locations. And I'm going to be just walking around door to door. I mean, shop to shop trying to sell these baskets, right? So I just found out it's going to rain on my parade. That is so upsetting to me, y'all. I really don't want to. I, I, my friend said, well, just buy like three tents. Okay, I buy three tents and we send out in the rain. Like, I just don't know about that, y'all. I did find one for like $279. It looked like it's waterproof and it'll help. If y'all have any suggestions to me in this uh, part, I know a lot of y'all that follow me or subscribe to my channel. Which, by the way, I'm almost at 6K. Thank all of y'all for subscribing. But anyway, I know a lot of y'all that subscribe to my channel has been doing this for way, way, way longer than me. And I'm hoping you've had this happen. Because I know some of y'all cities, y'all get out there in the snow. Like, some of y'all just in the snow selling. So, if y'all have had that problem where it's rained on y'all parade, what should I do? Should I get a tent, sit out there in the rain? Will people pull over in the rain? Let me you know, y'all. I really don't know what to do. Um, but I do know I will be up under somebody's rain shed at the gas station if I have to. But I just hate that I did have three people ready to go. You know, I... I, I Sat down everybody at the house did a whole job fair had all the kids sign up So I did get four of my kids that was willing to go out there and make some money I had to make some little promises though because they wanted a little change, but hey, it is what it is I gotta figure it out though, but back to this y'all anyway. Hey Um, I'm a little bit energetic today y'all making candy all morning. I am gonna do this old spice basket right here and it is too cute. I got my red sheds with the white basket from Dollar Tree. I just um bought some red hearts. Come on, give me a red heart from over there, baby. Let me put it right here. Let me give him a red heart. Thank you. Put a little red heart from one of the stickers I got. And then if I put two small ones there, that'll even be more cuter. Okay? So, this is going to be a naughty basket. If y'all know that song, y'all know what that's for, okay? But anyway... Um, so I got me two things of Old Spice. I got these from my wholesale. I think that was about $2.79 a piece, which I guess ain't bad. I don't know how much they cost in the store. I haven't priced them yet, but I do know they're about $5 to $7, I believe. I got some Naughty Nights dice. I got the orange, um, body scrub that matches the dice. I got some, um, razors. Of course, I have my Vaseline. Um, in the back of it, I have a rolling backwoods tray. My wholesaler has these for $3.99. Um, I did go and get some candy, even though my son said, Mom, why are you putting them in the people's baskets nasty? I felt like it's cute, it matches, and I'm just gonna, it's just gonna be a basket fill. I'm gonna sit there behind there. But anyway, um, y'all yeah, see what they say. I don't even need to say it out loud. I got those up there, the vouchers. I have opened them on my Instagram page. Not even my business, Yummy Tea Cakes, but my kind of personal, my old t-shirt page. I turned that into my personal. I do and say whatever I want over there. So I have posted the book, opening it up, and it's too much for my eyes, y'all. But they are selling like hot cakes. I just sold four this morning on Instagram. So yeah, this is that basket. I've only put um, one, two. This came from Dollar Tree as well. So we'll say three. Um, this came from Burlington. They had like a four pack of um, 
um, body scrub um, things, and they real thick and nice. They had like four in there for like three ninety nine. Um, they was regular. I did catch one that was like ninety nine cent. They had four, but I just bought them regular because they so nice. I have that and this. So we'll say one, two, three, four. The candy makes five. The basket makes six Dollar Tree items, and then everything else came from somewhere else. Um, my wholesale supplier had these and then I got that from my naughty sites now I still keep getting people I don't know if they be having it on mute or what asking about the naughty sites you have to DM me for that information I know it sounds repetitive to my um, subscriber that's already heard it but you have to DM me for that information because it is a XXX rated site and I cannot get booted off of YouTube for typing that stuff up in these messages okay so and also, I would like to say for those that's wanting that site, you do have to have like a tax ID, a, a, a sales tax number. Use your social security number, okay? It'll go right on through. It's the same amount of digits, okay? They'll sign you right up. But anyway, so that's that basket. And all, I'm going to say I put under $20 in here. I put about $18. I calculated it last night. I put $18 in this basket, and I'm going to sell it for $75. I feel like I can get $85. But I feel like I'm going to sell it for, uh, hey, you need some, Dad? Sorry, y'all. I feel like I'm going to sell it for selling five. He walked by and rolled his, he was like, on the video again. He probably trying to see what I want to eat for breakfast. But anyway, this is another basket. This one is a Dove basket, an Old Spice basket, a Ben Sherman's basket. And that's a name brand basket. But let's start back with this one. Um, I have the dove from my supplier again, two seventy nine, two night. Um, this is ninety nine cent. This is two nineteen. Um, we have some oop dice. That's a little same scratch off. Um, I have another sponge. I got the same pack that I got for three ninety nine from Burlington. Um, so I'm able to do four baskets. This is basically a dollar a piece. Um, I got some Gillette out of Dollar Tree. Those are come from my naughty site. And then I have some razors here too. I kind of repeated the basket over and over just with different sets and colors. I did the blue to match the blue stuff in here. And um, I do have to still put one of these candies in the back of here. Once I put that, he has everything else the other basket has. I'm going to put that over here because we can't see it behind him. But that was about it, y'all. I did the Vaseline again, some soap, some deodorant, and some more deodorant, the spray-on deodorant. The body um, wash br a brush. I should have had body wash, but they didn't have any. I got the razors to go with the uh, shaving gel and then the naughty stuff. Um, once again, this one I put $18 in as well. It actually, um, that one almost had more stuff than that, but because I didn't have um, something I didn't have over here, it oh, another book, that's what made the price be equal to that one. So I'm putting under $20 and I want $75. I want 80 forget the 75 but I only have 75 price stickers. because I don't know um, I'll say $75 that's not bad all right over here we got another Old Spice set um, I put the blue shaving brush in because it had some blue in it and I kind of just made sure everything was coordinated like the red so I gave him the red book the different red stuff inside there but besides the Old Spice the dice um, I put some Vaseline, it's another uh, body brush, I got that from Dollar Tree, some razors, I have some more Gillette over here on the side, and I'm going to screen it up once I go to wrap it, and I have the candy in this one, but that's about all. Now on the back of these, I actually have the uh, Happy Valentine's Day sign that came from Dollar Tree, because not everybody need a rolling tray, so I did like three with rolling trays, and I did three with just the regular, four with the regular backers. Oh, and I do have one hiding back here. This is a Dove one, but because I have it over here, I don't have to see that one. This, what I did with this one, I repeated it on all three baskets. It looks the same, everything the same in each one of these baskets. This another one over here. Everything is the exact same. All I did was make sure I put, well, not the exact same. I got soap in his lap instead of over here, I got the men body cream. I ran out of these, but over here I was going with the men body cream. Um, so I have the Ben Sherman set. I only paid, I think, $2.99 or $3.99 for this on that Burlington sale haul. Propped it up on the basket with some brown sheds, Dollar Tree, 
I think Dollar Tree has these, but I got them from my wholesaler. Two candies from Dollar Tree, the brush, the two set from Dollar Tree, and that is it. I only have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, just say four Dollar Tree items. That's ten dollars right there, including the basket, the basket backer, and all of that. And then I have this from my wholesaler, which was a dollar as well. And then this that I paid about two ninety nine or three ninety nine. We're gonna say four dollars. So that's another five dollars. That's fifteen dollars for this basket right here. When I add a bow and shreds, we can just round it off to eighteen, which I've been doing with all of them. And I still want seventy five dollars. I really want eighty dollars for all three of these men baskets. I really do. I want $80. I, I wish I can say $85, but y'all let me know in the comment section below. Once I put it in that bow and all that stuff, and then at the same time, it's not many people that's having men baskets. I've been seeing a lot of women baskets. I rolled past a couple people had their stuff out. And I'm telling you, if you're doing what I am doing, we are killing the basket game with these prices and with what we are stuffing these baskets with. I seen a lady had, um, I can tell she ain't had none, but newspaper in there stuffed it up and had like four items taped together and she wanted 62 dollars i said girl okay but yeah that's the same exact way like i said it's easy when you duplicate and replicate same basket right here over here i have my x one um oh i got one more up there i was gonna do that one since i have the box over here the ben sherman box i'm gonna put them two together and i'm gonna make that 150 dollars basket over here, we're going to do this one with X. So, I got two with um, Old Spice. I have one with Dove. And then I have the three Sherman sets. Um, I also have some old, some Brutes. You know, the green Brute. I also have some Brute. That'll be for somebody's um, granddad, I guess. Because I heard they don't really use that no more. But it smells awesome, okay? I got this from Dollar Tree. I got some um, razors again. Some more naughty stuff. Naughty stuff at the top. I do have another rolling tray in the back of it. Um, and this is my blue one. I got this from Dollar Tree. I got that from my wholesaler. That from Dollar Tree, which you can see it matches jam up. Um, then my doves, my accent I got from my wholesaler, which is like $279, $269. That same brush from Dollar Tree. That, some candy, and a body scrub. That's all I put in that basket, y'all. And I'm about to wrap this up, put a bow on it. I have some nice blue bows I'm going to put on it. And we're going to see how valuable they look after that. And like I said, I started off with 75 but now that I'm looking at it, especially this one, it looks so full. And it got these items. These items ain't cheap. If they went into a sex shop and bought these items, they would pay about $10 for these dice. Because even on Amazon, they're like $10. Even though I only paid about $3. Um, these about 79 cent in the store. They're probably about 3.99, 2.99. So my my value is definitely worth. This definitely is worth a um, 100 to 80, 80 to 100 dollar basket. I don't have any more any 80 dollar stickers, but what I feel like I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some and make all my men baskets 80 dollars. 75 dollars does sound good, but I think I'm gonna make them 80. Um, I know y'all seen this video. I have. I hope y'all seen this video. Of these trays I made real quick last night I cleaned up a little bit I tried at least I can see my flow now um I got my little bells over there I'm gonna do big box sets with them and they're gonna go with my hookahs um, that's another video that's coming out next I have some hookah baskets these cases with this ho this hookah box and this hookah costed me $16.99 y'all in the store that's gonna cost somebody about 80 to 100 dollars I'm, I'm sorry like probably more than that um and then i got some more back here i even got one that has a little uh look at it that hookah is everything all of these big hookahs i'm trying to make 200 dollars baskets with them i'm gonna put one of the big bears i'm gonna make a big box and that's how i'm gonna get this money for this um valentine day y'all but i hope y'all liked this video i hope you've already subscribed if you just stumbled upon this channel um but other than that let me come back and show y'all how everything looks wrapped and then i'm getting ready to go y'all i'm going outside today this is gonna be my only day but make sure i just had to do a walk through look at that one so cute but make sure y'all let me know what y'all think i should do should i go and buy them tents sit up under those tents what should I do now? I already know. As you can see, I had to take my table down. It's in the car. Um, but I'm going to be outside. You already know I'm going to be outside. I'm going to be 
door to door. But at the same time, what do I do with my three employees that I just hired last night? Like I just hired them last night and now I got to cancel the job. That's not going to be a good look for my business, okay? <laughs> I'm just joking y'all, they my kids. But anyway, I, I got to figure that out because I know they're probably looking forward to it. Even my daughter came up here this morning and was like, you, you sure? I was like, yes. I want you over there, him over there, and her over there, and I'm going to be out there, okay? So, let me just get back to this, y'all, because y'all know I talk to y'all today. If I got so much energy in me today, this is actually my second day going back out. I haven't been back out and since the last time I went out. So, the last time I went out was a Sunday, and today is Wednesday. But I'm outside today, and I hope you all have been outside, and I hope you all are selling baskets and making that money. But... I know it's crunch time this weekend. They got to get something. They, they see that, oh, it's right around the corner. They don't have time to wait no more. So we should get off these baskets this uh, the end of this week, y'all. Um, Starting on my Easter stuff. And like I say, for those of you that's on the budget, go ahead. It is February. Put some money to the side, buy some now. And then next month, buy some more. I end up buying them because I forgot um, Easter went in March. I thought it was next month. I just know last year everything came so fast. So I was like, oh, man, by the time I come back on my vacation, it's going to be time for Easter. Which I'm glad I did do it. I don't have to worry about it. But I still go back next month and get more. So go ahead if you can start buying that stuff before it get gone. Because right now I can't get any bears. It's stuff that I can't even get everybody don't took. So make sure you go ahead and get what you can get while you can if you have it to get it. Alright, let's show y'all these baskets wrapped up. I'm sorry y'all. I felt like I had to pop back in and give y'all this little tip. Um, I was getting ready to grab and do my baskets and as you can see, I already have mine rolled down. So I take my bags and I open them up, roll them down. That way... Every time I get through shrink wrapping, I just grab a bag and go. I don't have to keep opening up, rolling a bag. That can get tiresome from having to do it repetitive and stuff like that. So, by me having it already rolled down, I feel like that's a good tilt for everyone that's doing a bulk volume of baskets. I already have them rolled down. So, boom, you're wrapping it up, shrink wrapping and moving it to the side, grabbing a, a paper, a uh, shrink wrap bag, putting it on here, laying your basket right inside of it. Boom, you're ready to wrap. I just feel like that's easier to me because I'm doing them in bulk. So once I get done with this one, I will have to go get my bag, unroll it, get it ready, and lay it down. No. I already got it rolled up. Once I move this to the side, all I got to do is pull it, lay it down, and go ahead and start um, shrink wrapping my bag. I think that's very easy um, for me, and I just felt like that's a tip for anyone that's doing them in bulk. Okay, now let me show it to, show it to you wrapped. Success is a finicky thing, and if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be. I don't wanna let myself down my 